Welcome back fans and friends. This is going to be another odd one because these don't show up too often on the, these shelves. Uh, well, green light generally actually Toys R Us I think is facing them out slowly. And Walmart is like a crapshoot because it's Walmart. So, I don't buy too many of these hitched homes and they're already up to series 13. This one would really have been nice with that Ford Bronco I did recently, but the Ford Bronco unfortunately does not have an integrated trailer hitch. So for today's display purposes, I have scaled up the two Silverados, which I don't have anything for them to tow. So I want to say, if I put this video involving the Silverados, thousands of people are going to watch it for whatever reason. I purchased for the trailer, nobody's going to watch it. So I have here your select choice of RST and LT. They are both, I believe, 2021. No, I apologize. This is 2022. This is 2021. 2020 so they're both the 2019 castings they both look nearly identical and they were both built last year so this is in fact the lt work truck you can see the lt just on the right side or you can't maybe but you can see the silverado oh i apologize it's the z71 you see there right there i apologize trim level is z71 chevrolet is on the left side and then this one is the rst so, I mean, it's the it's a pickup truck 4x4. Four four. But you can see RST on the right side and Silverado Chevrolet strapped across the back. This is not the pickup truck video. This is supposed to be on this 1958 Siesta Traveler. Why I'm bringing it up is because it's not a hitched homes. Sorry, it's not a hitch and tow series. It's just a hitched homes. And so what that means is, as you can see there, I saved it from the misery of being stolen at that Walmart. So I'm going to open it anyway. I don't really care too much. Plus, I didn't have very much else. So anyway, I didn't catch this quite on previous model, uh, generations. As you know, I've done the Airstream Safari one, the huge one. That's being towed by that F-350 somewhere here. So uh, when I, if it's important, I'll bring it back. There's the 243 day of last year when it was made, the 14562WB. We have Firestone for the tires, Airstream, an officially licensed product, I believe. Cooperative Forest Fire Prevention, Smokey the Bear from the U.S., as we all know, Winnebago, some other stuff there. And it contains one type as vehicle. So, oh, that's what it's called. It's the Land Yacht Safari, but it's not the custom. So there, it has a little bit of a different name, but it's similar in year. It's that long silver one with the many windows. Often has the oily fingerprints on the plastic. That's this. They did not have this, but I'm afraid I don't want it to be a Cadillac like a DeVille type add back on it but anyway teardrop trailer I've seen but I didn't see it with this one and in the Winnebago I believe they've had it in the last three series so if you happen to love Winnebago's midget ones and you happen to miss it here it is again because green light will use the same casting and materials to continuously if it's the Nissan Skyline here I, I would buy add on or not but it, as we are it does not have it and so this is an advertisement for the trailer park. And hopefully you can see the three windows, one medium sized back window and the propane tanks on the front with where the pin to the trailer hitch goes. So with not much else externally to cover from this package, all I can recommend is to get it out of the package. Uh, we go and we have it there as always the green lights come in it's really heavy i think this thing is in fact a third heavier than either of these pickup trucks it is really heavy so that's great there is the air conditioning i believe and you can see there's some oil uh it appears to be so i've wiped off most of it but 99 percent of it's gone so the wheels roll well so that bodes very nicely we have nice see and this is what i like some not all green lights do and it's infuriating is where you'll have the matte black underside and 1958 siesta so obviously it doesn't say travel trailer which is a letdown i'm not going to stamp that on the underside this is the exact same 24322 that's the same number and your limited edition sticker is nice and contrasted to the rest of it the gl number there is 093-0 and this is a 2017 green light release we can see there stamped on the top 
And so once again, there's a little bit of a unknown, let's just say foreign material on it. There's the siesta, but un unfortunately I don't see anything, any other identifier. So obviously somehow I'm going to magically remember travel trailer or not. Uh, like I said, let me see if I have the Ford Bron oh, I don't have that. Yeah, I do. It's right here. This would have been nice, but unfortunately I have to, uh, like I said, clone the extra trailer hitch I have and add it onto the back of that truck. Sorry, slash SUV, slash Ford Bronco. People will know what that is. And so other than that, we have, like I said, this thing is really heavy, uh, which means, you know, it's either really made of a lot of material, it is made out of cheap materials, makes it heavier, or it's just really heavy. Uh, as we can see, I cannot see inside of it. So this is just matte black plastic. These are shades. And so I believe that's pretty much it. The last thing to cover here is they do, they do this a lot. And you've seen with the Hitchin Home videos is they put this tape to keep this thing from falling out because gravity and inertia itself will not prevent this thing from getting lost. I have a cat, so it would not take very long for stuff like this to disappear. Let's just say. So it's really awkward uh, to put it into the uh, hole and then twist down because the closeness of the Airstream was easier because it was out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and you definitely don't want to take a drill bore to this thing because you will absolutely destroy it. So as we can see there, I have started to skin the bottom of it because this hole is not cut very well. So to keep this video from being 15 minutes long we will first do it and as we can see there and it doesn't go all the way in there now it's in and there you have it it happens to roll really well so these two are not made for each other but they were made well enough compatible there you have it the RST and this Siesta trailer despite being nearly 40 50 years apart happen to be extremely compatible so with the other and as you can see there, the ball is what's sticking inside here, and that's great. So I take that back, that comment back. We're going to see now if the work truck, see the work truck? It just slides in and out. Uh, that doesn't really take away from its usefulness. It rolls still. I Like I said about these Silverados, they happen to be blind luck made decently well. That they roll, and they roll well. Uh, don't take that as an anti-Ford, anti ford anti uh, dodge uh, thing it's just the way these green lights are made they're made decently well i highly recommend any of these the rst or the work truck or really any of them if you love uh chevrolets look at it look look how we'll just watch the video itself you'll get a better read but you can see there the front of it is not quite finished but what that does is it allow you hear the click allows it to stick in place so there you have it rst i guess i will be leaving it with because it just makes the least amount of work, most amount of sense. This is a work truck, but even as a work truck, it came with a trailer hitch. So usually blue collars, right down to the Volkswagen uh, type, uh, I think it's type 181s, the things, 90% or pretty much a lot of, not 90%, but a lot of the blue collar series vehicles. I have done the snowplow truck. I've done a bunch of other vehicles. If it's important to you, it comes with a trailer hitch. Because you see what happens when it doesn't come with a trailer hitch. You're going to use it for all terrain. But if you want it with the trailer, then you can't. You have to aftermarket glue, glue it. So anyway, fans and friends, I am done talking about the 1968 Siesta travel trailer from Hitched Home Series 14. This is Thomas from Toronto. Thanking you for watching this video and till the next one.